Hi folks, nice on Android.com where we get hoi, hoi, hoi. on Android every day. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Note 3 uh, on CM12 Android uh, Lollipop 5.0.2. That's right. Um, this is an experimental version, uh, but it works pretty well. The only thing not working is NFC uh, that I've tested and also you don't get 4K recording uh, for your Note 4, but otherwise it works pretty good. Also, this, you should be able to install on uh, SMN910F the inter or any of the international models with Qualcomm. Um, and also Sprint should work if you just put the APN. Um, and also, yeah, I mean, go ahead and try it and do let me know. But uh, let's actually go take a look real quick. Uh, let's go take a look. Let's go do this, baby. Oh, look, so I've got uh, CM12 running uh, pretty good and course you'll get the latest uh, lollipop um, everything working pretty good it's actually uh, Android 5.0.2 uh, this is made for the T-Mobile Note 4 uh, but uh, if you have a 910F uh, the international version um, or if you have Sprint try installing it also for Sprint it should work because they all share the Qualcomm and uh, with previous Note 3 and Note, uh, Note 3 um, basically the CM uh, work for Sprint, even Verizon, um, and also, well not Verizon, but uh, work for the international. So it should actually work since um, they all share the same processor, everything is pretty much the same. I mean, I mean at the worst um, you won't get data, but it should boot up. Uh, but it should also, you should be able to also get data, and for those of you with Sprint, I'll have a link to the Sprint APN. Uh, if you insert the Sprint APN, it should work also for CDMA. Um, but go ahead and try it. I need some feedback because I, I actually, my Sprint Note 4 has a broken screen, so that's why I can't test it, but it should work. So if you have a Sprint or if you have a 910F, um, do try it. Do let me know if it worked or not, but it should work. And uh, just if you don't get data, just set APN for it, and that should be it. But at the worst case, um, you know, you can always restore your ROM back, so we'll make a backup ROM also. Uh, this particular version actually works pretty good. It's really fast on the Note 4. Of course, you're going to lose all of your Samsung features. Um, you can get some alternative apps for the S Pen, um, like your Gear app's not going to work. You're not going to be able to use it with your Samsung VR, uh, Gear VR, if you got one of those. Um, so just make a backup ROM of whatever ROM you're on or maybe you're on stock uh, TouchWiz That way you can go back whenever you need to use those things uh, But I've been daily driving this and uh, it's looking pretty good actually uh, The camera works just fine also, which is amazing um, The developer says there's low volume in video recording, but uh, I think it actually works just fine um, So the only thing I noticed is the video resolution you'll lose 4k uh, for the back camera, but uh, you get 1080p for both front and back. Uh, the back camera 4K isn't supported, I think, by Sinogen mod in general. Uh, one day that will happen, um, so you will lose your 4K. If you don't need to use your 4K, you should be good to go. And also, NFC is broken. I don't actually use NFC ever, um, but uh, if you if you need to use NFC, um, you know, just try it, I guess, and go restore your ROM back. Uh, installation is really easy just use twerp uh, install just use my install guide that I posted yesterday I'll have a link to that also uh, but looking pretty good lastly but not least let's try uh, and tutu and also battery life is fairly good I think it's actually better than TouchWiz um, so let's go ahead and run this test real quick and see how, what's the what the performance improvements are on here and I'll go ahead and fast forward all of this All right, guys. So I got a score of forty-eight thousand seven sixty. I think the uh, the stock uh, the uh, test I did with the Sprint and the T-Mobile on touch with stock firmware was actually about forty-five thousand. So you do get a little bit, maybe ten percent uh, in uh, improvements. Uh, but overall, everything just runs super smooth. I mean, you know, everything I've tried so far works fine. Um, so the only bugs again is the camera low. Uh, volume but it, the volume seems to be pretty fine to me actually uh, so NFC no NFC so that could be a deal breaker otherwise it's a pretty good ROM 
Um, so definitely, if you're in town to turn in your Note 4 into a Nexus, you know, Note Nexus, then definitely try this out and do let me know. But uh, it is definitely usable as daily driver, actually one of the better builds. You can be on the latest uh, Lollipop 5.0.2 today, not uh, when Samsung updates. Uh, so that's about it. All right, guys, so if you do have an international Qualcomm-based uh, Note 4, uh, like the SMN910F, definitely try it out. Uh, make a backup ROM, try to install it using my installation guide that I posted yesterday. And uh, yeah, do let me know because I need some testers. Uh, I have a 910F actually on its way. I got a really good deal on eBay. Um, only 500 bucks for Note 4. Um, so I got that coming. But in the meanwhile, also if you have a Sprint Note 4, because my Sprint Note 4 screen's broken um, during a drop test that I didn't post, it broke, so I couldn't test it with my Sprint. Um, do test it out. In the worst case, uh, it will not boot, or it will boot, but you won't get data. But it's not going to break your phone by trying this. And also, if you get any uh, status 7 errors, um, you, you'll need to remove the certs. Um, I'll have a link to on how to do that also. Um, but don't install it unless you have Qualcomm based uh, Note 4, which is the 910F, the Sprint. Uh, if you have like an Exynos version, like the Korean version, and install this, you will hard break your phone. I'm not going to be responsible for it. So if you have an Exynos Note 4, um, do not install. If you don't know what I'm talking about, do not install. Um, so that's about it. I will see you guys soon. Uh, have a great holidays. Uh, and as always, uh, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and stay.